BBC News. At the end of his visit to Israel, President Biden said he'd secured an agreement for the delivery of a limited amount of aid to Gaza, where 12 days of Israeli siege and bombardment have caused an acute humanitarian crisis. Mr Biden also said President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi of Egypt had agreed to open the Rafah border crossing to let in 20 trucks of aid. Israel has said it won't prevent deliveries as long as supplies don't reach Hamas. Though Mr Biden reaffirmed his support for Israel during his visit, he cautioned against becoming consumed by rage after the deadly Hamas attacks. Sirens have sounded across central parts of Israel as rocket fire intensifies after President Biden's departure. It comes amid surging anger in the region over the hospital blast, which Palestinian officials said killed hundreds. Republican members of the U.S. House of Representatives have, for a second day running, failed to elect their hardline colleague Jim Jordan as Speaker. 22 Republicans voted against him, two more than during his first attempt. It's unclear whether Mr Jordan will press for another round of voting. An investigation into a devastating fire at South Africa's parliament in Cape Town last year has blamed officials and failures in the security system. The blaze took three days to put out. The Brazilian army is continuing to confine 160 troops to their barracks while it investigates the theft of 21 machine guns from a military base near Sao Paulo last week. Reports say those detained range in rank from privates to colonels. Amazon has announced it will expand its drone delivery service, now available in two small areas of California and Texas, to Britain and Italy by the end of next year. BBC News.